Teacher tired of students being coddled, goes straight to parents. She already knew what it would mean when she posted her honest words on social media. It was unprofessional, but she had nowhere else to vent her frustrations. She was tired of being taken advantage of. But after she quickly realized what she had done the next morning, she deleted the post. But a lot of people had read it overnight, and they wouldn't forget it so easily. It was the post that cost her job. She had been doing it for 10 years. She never thought that she would feel this way. It had started out well enough, but now she felt different. Things just weren't what they used to be for Margaret Jackson. But after getting sick and tired of what she used to actually love, she decided to take matters into her own hands. But she had no idea what would end up happening. Margaret Jackson lived in Houston, Texas, her whole life. She grew up aspiring to be one thing, the teacher. After leaving school, she studied hard and quickly got certified as a middle school teacher. Margaret fell in love with both the job and the students. But over the next 10 years, she'd realize an eye-opening fact that would change her life forever. Now a 30-year-old teacher, Margaret started to realize something about her career. She wasn't paid as much as she'd like, she had to bring a lot of her work home with her, but most importantly, she just couldn't keep up with the kids anymore. She swore she remembered things being different. The kids used to be a little bit kinder, but mostly they used to care more about their education. That's what she hated the most. Students used to be motivated, they would try their hardest to get good grades, and she could even see the interest in their eyes when they learned things. She didn't know if it was just a generational thing or just maybe her place of work. She knew she couldn't be quiet anymore. She had to voice her concerns. But when it wouldn't work on the students, she would turn to the only people left, but would they be understanding? Margaret tried to find the root of the problem. Between torn textbooks, trashed shelves, and leaving their things everywhere, there was a lot to address. The students didn't take anything seriously anymore. She knew she had to address these problems directly to the students, but her pleading would only fall on deaf ears. The next morning in class, Margaret addressed her students. She begged them to be tidier, to take their learning experience more seriously, and not destroy their own books. But she could tell that her words weren't getting through to the teenagers. She needed to go further, so she took things to social media. She would post about her frustrations. But once the parents saw it, Margaret would no longer be a teacher. Margaret posted on Facebook, I have no classroom budget. I have finally had enough of the disregard for personal and school property and am drawing a line in the sand on a myriad of behaviors that I am through tolerating. Margaret continued, Unfortunately, one parent today thought it was wrong of me to hold her son accountable for his behavior and decided to very rudely tell me so in front of her son. But what she didn't understand was what posting her thoughts would cost her. In the following days, there was an uproar. Parents lost their minds over her comments. She knew that it was hard for them to swallow the truth, but there was no reason for them to take it to the next level. But after making one more comment, she knew she had to delete her posts and hide her trail. But with her posts up in the air and already seen, things escalated a lot more. Margaret finally voiced all of her concerns as a teacher. It was liberating to finally have everything out in the open. Even if they were things that people didn't want to hear, she had to say it to them. It was finally time for a standoff. She wouldn't tolerate the indiscretions any longer. But the final post was one that would cost her more than just the sides of the parents. Margaret wrote the post that changed everything. I left work early today after an incident with a parent left me unable emotionally to continue for the day. I have already made the decision to leave teaching at the end of this year, and today, I don't know if I will make it even that long. Parents have become far too disrespectful, and their children are even worse. With Margaret leaving the teaching field, it isn't all sad. She's decided to pursue other passions she developed. The biggest one was child psychology. She'd taken psychology when she studied at the University of Houston. Going to greener pastures was the best thing for Margaret. She wouldn't have to deal with any more disrespectful parents and unwilling students. She had a more fulfilling life once she went back to school and started on the road to becoming a child psychologist. 
She still had a passion for working with adolescents. Now she could really make a difference without the abuse she had faced before. Her passion for children hadn't died, just the education system and the parents that enforced their students' bad attitude toward their education. Margaret knew that becoming a psychologist was easier said than done. It would take a lot of dedication, time, and money. But she knew that with a student loan, she'd be able to achieve her goals. It was brighter days for her, and she had a much better attitude toward life. It seemed things would only get better for her.